Oh, how was I solving the question the last time? Was I using Word documents? I was using, I was using Excel. Okay, shall we start? How do we do this? I don't know when I know Rita, so you read the first question. Okay, Sheriff is with us now. <laughs> then Brian will read the second question. I'm actually, yeah, I'm actually on the move, so yeah, on the move. I might let's, discount let's, for me. Yeah. Okay, let's Brian just do that. Brian, could you read the first question for us? Okay, is that uh, let, arrow? Don't let's put this catch you. You said what? Yeah, the arrow, arrow one, yeah. Okay, so let me start with the requirement. Yeah, okay, okay, um, me, for the word, yeah. Let me see. Required, prepare the minute. Prepared, uh, prepare the meeting notes as requested by your manager. The following marks are available. Uh, one, sale of shares in Rocha Limited. Note the following indexation factor should be used where applicable. May 2003 to December 2017, 0.532. Yeah. Um, two, group relief year ending 31 December 2022, uh, six marks. Uh, rollover relief, seven marks. Um, Tosca Limited, promotion of new products, six marks. Yeah. Yes, so then the question, the um, part. Okay. You don't want you to be assume? professional, Mark. Is that not Mark? You, mm -hmm. Why are you avoiding the four Mark? Because it's the it's a professional Mark will be awarded uh, for the ability to follow instruction, the clarity of explanation and calculation, the effectiveness with which the information is communicated, and the overall presentation. That's just for somebody to help someone from 49 to 50. I come by our professional Mark for a past my law. Go ahead. Okay, so the um, question debrief. You should assume today's date is 7th of September 2022. Your manager has sent you a memorandum in relation to the Arrow Town Limited Group. An extract from the memorandum and a schedule of group information prepared by Corella, the group finance director, are set out below. Memorandum from your manager dated 7th September 2022. The background. We are advising Corella, the group finance director or a number on a number of matters. I've attached the schedule for Corella, which sets out much of the relevant information. Corella was only up recently appointed the Arrowtown Limited Group Finance Director. She has she has had very little experience of practical tax since qualifying as an accountant in 1998. I have carried out a brief review of Corella's schedule and concluded that it is mathematically correct, but that we cannot rely on its tax technical content. All group five, all five group companies are UK resident trading companies, are UK resident trading companies which prepare accounts to 31st December each year. The memorandum from, from your manager dated 7 September 2022. Okay. Sale of shares in Rochas Limited. In Rocha Limited, Arrowtown Limited acquired the whole of the ordinary share capital of Rocha Limited. Hello. I this guy again, please. Zima. Sorry, I think I I went off very well. So can you? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So um, on first of January, twenty twenty two. Okay. On 1st of December 2024, 8 million 
900,000 pounds. On 1st of January, 2022, Sorry, my network is Maybe someone Hello, Mr. Fee. Yeah, I can hear you now. It's off. We're going off. You say? We're going off. It said maybe someone else should read that is having network issues. Yes, yes. Can somebody help us continue? All right. I thought she was online before. Actually, I was actually What do you say? Actually, we. Okay, okay, okay. What is the background? We are advising Corella, the group finance director. Sorry? You can just start from the beginning of that memorandum. Okay, yeah, memorandum from your manager, detailed 7 September 2021. Background, we are advising Corella, the group finance director on number of matters i've attached a schedule from corella which sets out the most relevant information corella was only appointed the outtan group finance director she has had very little experience of the political tax since, since qualifying as an accountant in 1997 i have carried out a brief review of corella's schedule and concluded that it is mathematically correct but we cannot rely on tax technical content all five groups, yeah. All five groups, group companies are UK resident trading companies, which prepares accounts with at December each year. Sale of shares in Rocha Limited. I would turn limited acquired the whole of ordinary share capital of Rocha Limited 100,000 shares on December 2024, 8.9 million. On 1st January, CQL owned 80%. Owned 80% by Arota Limited, sold a build, commercial building to Rocha Limited for 800000 its market value on that day. The group claimed exemption for stamp duty land tax in respect of this transaction. CKR purchased the building on 1st May 2002 at the cost of 330000 However, the result of Rocha Limited for the year ending 31st December 2021 are now expected to be significantly worse than originally budgeted. And an agreement was signed on that first July 2021 for Avatar Limited to sell 6,000 Rocha Limited ordinary shares for 10.3 million. It is planned that the sale of these shares will take place on 1st October 2021, although the sale could be delayed by up to three months if necessary. Tosca Limited, production of new products. Tosca Limited manufactures high quality glass bowls. It accounts for VATs using the annual accounting scheme. Tosca Limited has developed a new product which is expected to increase the company annual turnover from 1.2 million to 2 million. The new product is to be marketed to the company, company's customer, all of whom are UK based retailers via promotional evening in various parts of the UK. At the promotional evenings, the retailers will be provided with a meal. They will also be given a sample of the new products costing approximately 90 pounds each and the pay costing 40 pounds. Memorandum. I think this has been read. Okay, no, let me please prepare note for us to okay. Please prepare it's note for us to use the read. Okay. Please prepare note for us to use in a meeting with Corella, which explains the following matters. Sale of shares in Rocha Limited, the errors and omissions in Part A of Corella's schedule, together with, together with any tax saving opportunities or, or, or other matters, including stamp duty land tax, which are not addressed in Part A of our schedule. Please include the corrected calculation 
of the taxable gain on the assumption on the sale on the assumption that occurs on 1st October 2021. Take some time to think about this from my brief review. I think there may be three or four issues which need to be brought to Corella's attention. Group relief, number two, group relief, yeah, I think that 1st December 2021. By reference to the information in Part B of Corella's schedule, a maximum amount of secures limited trading loss, which can be surrendered to each of the other companies in our town group, our town limited group. Number three, rollover relief. The rollover relief potentially available to the group and the accuracy of Part C of Corella schedule. Number four, Tuscan limited promotion of new product. The vast implication implications of the increase of the expected increase in the turnover of Tosca Limited and the entertainment and the food and the gifts and the promotional areas. Schedule of information from Corella, the group finance director, Aruta Limited, only owns Rocha Limited. It, it owns 80% of Sequel Limited. It also directly owns Tosca Limited 80% and Tosca Limited subsidiary 90%. Utafa. Schedule of group information. This shows the taxable gain on the sale of shares in Rocha Limited, which was highlighted below. Thank you. So we'll go to what uh, my leader wants us to do. That's the requirement one at a time and try to pick it first. I think the first one is about error made in calculation of chargeable gain. Just one minute. Let me let me use the let me use the washroom and be with you in one minute. So we can start. Supporting that for you guys finish reading. Give me one minute, please. Uh, Yeah, background. 
Let's go to what our uh, manager wants us to do. The first thing is this. Please note for the meeting. Okay, I'm preparing a note for meeting for use for Corella, which explains the following matters. Sale of shares in Richard's Limited. First one. Errors and omission in part A of Corella schedule. Do we have the schedule? Okay, this is the schedule. This is how it calculated yes. taxable gain. Okay, that's how you calculate the tax book. So we want to look for the errors there, uh, uh, together with any tax savings opportunity for other matters, including stamp duty and tax charge, which are not addressed in Part E and uh, on our first schedule. Please include the correct calculation of tax book gain and sale of assume, assuming on the assumption that it occur on first October twenty twenty two. So let's go and check the sale again. That we want it to assume is that like it is planned that the sale of these shares will take place on October 10th, although it can be delayed. So they say we should not assume that it's delayed. We assume that it's going to sell it in October 22. But you purchase it when? Circle limited, I want 80% of the commercial. When did he purchase it? First December 2020. First December 2020. I have 2020. So, okay. How come I now have 2021 on my own? Am I missing something? Maybe this is the updated one. Sorry, I'm missing like the past. Um, okay, um, yeah, yeah. The updated one, they will just make it to the yeah, 2021. All right, so that's that's really they're just going to increase it by one year because we're in the next year, right? Okay, okay, yeah, that's what happened. So they'll be here to 19 and 2020, 2021. So I'm having 2021 in my own state. So, so the first thing we need to look at is that. Is a share was uh, purchased for 8.9 million in 2021. And I want to see that it's going to be sold in October. When you sell a share, a company sold a share, it is possible that that particular share qualifies for substantial shareholding. Is that correct? Yeah. Well, that's the first thing we need to look at. So, what the first thing we need to quickly state the condition of substantial shareholding because that's always very popular when we're talking about shares for company. So, we'll look at the substantial shareholding, uh, what do you call it, condition, and see whether this particular sale will meet it or it will not meet it. All right, so we'll quickly talk about substantial shareholding. Yeah, where's my SNC? Holding options. This is always applicable on gain on gain on the sales of share. That means the gain on the sale of share is always going to be it's going to be exempt. All right, if this exemption actually applies, what would make the exemption applies? Number one. Uh, <clears throat> You must have owned that. You must own at least ten percent of that share in the company for at least twelve months within the last six years, and that particular company must be a trading company, not an investment company. Those are the conditions. So I'll state those conditions, and I'll check whether it meets all the conditions. So if substantial shareholding is going to be applicable, we'll say okay, no, it's not going to have any chargeable gain because this is uh, this this we, the substantial shareholding will be applicable. So that shareholding, okay, the, the, the gain bill of shares exempt if the holding company holding company has at least 10%
least ten percent of the ordinary shares. Twelve months. in the last in the last six years. Or within the last six years here. Within the last six years. Within the last six years, uh, both the holding company and both company must be a trading company. Trading company. company so now look at the two of them who is selling so the sale by uh sell that shares again what's the name of the company sequel is one that sold that right it's sold russia sequel limited so the commercial building to Russia's no, that's not what I'm looking for. I return a choir. We're going to talk about the about the what do you call it about the sale of the building, which is Harotan. Okay, Harotan to sell instead of Russia's shares. This one. So Harotan is the one selling selling things up and down. Yes. Okay, so from from the condition of substantial shareholding, do you think the sale by a return will be subject to to substantial shareholding or not. People of God. On the face value, no. Since it's less than 12 months. So see, it's not for 12 months. It's from when to when? It's from December to December previous year to the October next year, right? October, yeah. Yeah, so so that doesn't make sense. It doesn't look like it's actually going to be, it's actually going to be uh, what do you call it? Qualify for SSC. Qualify for SSC. Qualify for substantial shareholding, not at all. Yeah. So we quickly look at that and say, yo, this will not qualify. Will not qualify. Wait, sir. Yeah, go ahead. Sir, there's yeah. one condition that said that um, the if the shares won't for is won't. Is owned for less than 12 months out of our previous six years. The ownership condition will still be satisfied if the shares been disposed of in a new company and the new company received assets from Anderson 5% group because the company received assets, um, it received building from SQL Limited Anderson 5% group in our town limited. No, 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 no. They, they, they are saying they are talking about there is no, it's not building. They're talking about the shares, right? So what they are trying to say is that if that share is being transferred from one company, a seventy five percent group, to another company, the specific asset there is actually the shares they are talking about moving. So if as when you are in a seventy five percent group, all right, and mm -hmm. there's all call it if down. We mentioned that before. Maybe this one is yeah. running the business, and then you form another business. You now move that particular asset of that one to purchase this one on if down that that condition of trade more will still continue because both of them are actually within the same group not selling a a, a, a moment like a building that they're talking about the, mm -hmm. that one they're talking about the shares moving from one particular you know a member to another member that that your 12 
a 12 month condition will still continue to count. So it could have been by itself for seven months and then you transfer to another company within the same group and those shares have been there for another seven, seven months. So we're going to count seven months, seven months. We're not going to count only seven months for the new company that owns that particular shares. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. It, is this the shares that they're actually you know, focusing on, not any asset. So you won't say because as somebody now say you spanner, it means that the shares, no, there's no link between spanner and shares. It's shares that this one is specific about. So that's that's just the difference. And I think I, I, I've seen a question like that before on that particular aspect. Maybe something we look at in class, I can't remember, but you know, we can always have that too as well. Well, it would definitely be shares, not any other assets. Yeah, it's the shares of the company that the focus is on. Because the share has not okay, sir, been, been on, on for, thank you, for at least, at least 12 months. Yeah, and that's just the reason why the substantial shareholding is not going to hold. So when substantial shareholding is not going to hold that way, it means that uh, we are going to calculate the chargeable gain. So there will not be an exemption. So I do calculate chargeable gain. Chargeable gain is easy. I'm going to go to put sale proceed, less cost, I get gain. Nobody, no story. And in this particular question, there won't be indexation allowance because the purchase and the sale happened after 2017. You know, so the indexation allowance ends in 2017, December 2017, right? Hello, people. Chargeable gain, indexation allowance, yes, 2017. Can you remember? Can you remember? Yes, <laughs> yes, yes, you should remember that. You should remember that. So. If, if that's the case, yeah, and the, the next thing is now that, that we can look at in that question is that there's a transfer of an asset. And when there's a transfer of an asset within a 75% group, and the person that, the group member that received the asset leave the group, that we will call it the group in charge. Do anybody remember the group in charge? People of God, do you remember that's the group in not. charge? I can't hear you, sir. I do, do sir. Can yes, you, sir. Can you yes. describe? Can you describe? Can you explain to us what you remember of, of this, the group in charge? Quickly. Okay. When a company receives an asset via a no gain, no loss from under some five percent group company and good, leaves the good. group within seven, six years, you would have to add yes. the group in charge to sales proceeds when calculating chargeable gain. Yes, yes, that's what the that's what the rules say. And I've seen this this kind of aspect in like two, three questions, the past question, where there will be a degrouping charge, and the examiner wants you to remember how to treat the grouping charge. First thing, you must be able to identify if there's a grouping charge. Second thing, you must know how to calculate the grouping charge. Third thing, you must know what do you do. What is the implication of a decouping charge? The implication of a group charge is anytime you get a decouping charge calculated, it must be added to the sale proceed. So that is why we cannot rush to go and calculate the chargeable gain now because there's a decouping charge there. First, we have to first identify the decouping charge. And in, in, in advanced tax, you can't just go and calculate the decouping charge. It will give you one out of six. So the first thing is that when you realize there's a decouping charge, you must first explain the principle of the decouping charge. This is what I understand. You don't need to cram it. Just explain it the way it is in your brain. Layman language, explain it, we'll get your point. After you explain it, then we will calculate the decouping charge. We'll now say, okay, this thing that you have calculated, though, this is how we are going to use it. Because the total sale proceed that we need here now will not be the sale proceed for the shares plus the decouping charge, just like you have said, that the decouping charge will be added to the sale proceed. So this is the next thing we are going to do. First thing, we have to explain what we understand by the grouping charge. So this one too, you cannot say anything about substantial shareholding without explaining it. Anytime you read, and even if, if you get calculation wrong, you're still going to get a whole lot of math for explaining the principle. In as much as the principle you are explaining, that right. And you don't need to cram it the way it is in the textbook. Just understand that principle and put it down in your own English for everything you see that you know this look like this is the principle. Always explain those principles in the exam. It's very important to do that. So I will just quickly write this little thing about the grouping charge. You've explained correctly. Uh, uh, the grouping charge, this of course, when they say, when in 
and in assets. It is sold. Okay, seventy five percent. Remember, I did no gain or loss. No gain. <laughs> no loss. I did no gain, no loss. The receiving member, if the group, receiving member, if the group, within six years, right? If the group, the group within six years, where well, everything is within six years, so within six years, if the group in charge, Added to the to the sales proceed, and that's exactly what the examiner is looking for. And that's what the examiner actually wants us to do. So the next thing is, how do we calculate the grouping charge? The grouping charge. How do we calculate the grouping charge? The first thing you have to look at the market value on you know because they they transfer to the member. It's always the, it's going to be at no gain, no loss. So we go to that day that they transfer the asset. We look for the market value of the asset. We look at the cost, and then the game between the difference between the cost and the market value is refers to as the decouping charge. If there's indexation allowance before 2017, then we we'll apply it. So we we'll go back to the question: which day was the asset transfer? On January 22, Seco Limited, which owned this guy, sold the commercial bidding to Rochas Limited for 800000 It's market value on that day. You can see that's the market value on the day that he sold it to Rochas. Because Seco and Rochas are actually a member of 75%. Let's go and look at their drawing. Although they have been told that, you know, Seco and um, Rochas, that they have, okay, there's actually Arrow owns all of them, this 100, this 100. So both of them are actually in Arrow's trading 75% group anyway. So it makes sense. But we're told that this one has 80% of Rochas too as well, which, which is because of this. What do we have there? Where's my question? Uh, so say here, uh, that's the, uh, and say person is given to this one. So we're going to calculate the grouping charge. The grouping charge might be a uh, market value. Market value. To understand this principle is important. So even sometimes the examiner doesn't want to calculate it. You might, you might just want to explain you know, how to calculate the decouping charge. Like I told you, three things that are important are the decouping charge, the, the explanation of the decouping charge, how to calculate the decouping charge, then what to do with the decouping charge. Market value is 800,000. People of God, what is the cost? You get thirty thousand. This kind of I'm like to buy one. Maybe. The exception allowance is zero point five seven eight. I don't know what's wrong with my network today. Hello, can you guys hear me now? Yes, we can. Hello? Yeah, my network was doing pump pump. So it's only it's not only in Nigeria, you have the talk issues. Then yeah, it's Saturday. Okay, so here we have to look at the cost. The cost is 330. You can see the cost. It bought the building in 2203, 20, for 330, which makes sense. But it gave it to him. 
you really don't even look like it's selling it on that day, January. So from two from two hundred and uh, from twenty three, twenty thousand, twenty three. Okay, this twenty twenty, it's more million. This twenty twenty two thousand and three to two thousand and twenty two. Uh, then there's definitely going to be indexation allowance because indexation allowance exists before two thousand and seventeen. So we're going to calculate indexation allowance from two thousand and three to two thousand and seventeen. Do we have any any indexation allowance given for that particular date? Okay, yeah, we have it. In election 2003-2017 was 0 0.5 to be to given. So we're just going to use that calculator of our developing charge. So I say in this section hours. Calculate that into 0 0.5. Is it 3, 2, or 3, 2, 3? 3, 2, I think, times uh, 3, 3. Then from there, we have our quantity the group in charge. SP. What will be the election allowance? People are good. What is the election allowance? 175,560. 175,000. 560. 560. Yeah, oh, that will now be our charge. Just see. You cannot. The group in charge will be a goalie. 294,140. 194,140. 440. See, okay. Yeah. So that would be the decouping charge. So now with that we have a decouping charge, then definitely we cannot calculate our, what is that that I want to calculate again? Uh, the chargeable gain, because the subsidized shareholding, they actually not, you know, did not it happen. So I say, okay, uh, what, what what's going to be the, the gain, the recalculation of gain uh, from sales proceed of shares, okay. Gain from this sale. This sale. Yes, the sale of rural charts. Yes. So, I think the question people should ask me should be okay, how come that it is circle limited that is giving assets that lead to substantial shareholding. Why are we not adding it to uh, Ham, uh, Jay Ham Tan, or what is the name of that guy? I talk my chat, where are you? Arotan. Arotan. Arotan is the one that's selling shares. So why are we adding the, the what happened between Sekol and Rochas to Harutan? Because you know, they are in the central percent group, so you see them as one. Do you understand? You see, that's one, and then it's Rochester that is actually having the group in charge. So we're not going to add it to, we're not going to give it to Circle. It is Harry Tan that is, you know, the parents, and it's the one selling the shares of Rochester. So it's the one that will enjoy that particular. Anyway, yeah, all of them enjoy it because all of them are actually in one group. So we have the sale proceed. This proceed from the shares is how much from the question? 10.3 million. 10.3 million. And we have the decouping charge. Decouping charge is how much now? Just calculate 294 for 40. Um, do we know the cost? You know the cost, we can add those together, then we'll less the cost of the shares. Yes, cost, cost of shares. Five, three, Was it calculated initially? Five, four. Yeah, it was calculated initially. Yeah, it was calculated it's initially nine, because it was 60, yeah, cost of than 60 percent. And that is correct. Let's check if that is correct or we need to recalculate it. Where is the cost here? 
Okay, uh, that is the... Uh, 8.9. Well, 8.9, okay, all right. And they're selling 60% of it? Yes, 60,000 shares. Okay, how return is selling 6,000 shares of Richard and shares for da 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 da. And then we know that he already bought 100,000 shares, right? So 60,000 shares out of 100,000 shares will give us what? 60%. Is that right? So, yeah, sure. so we now say 60% of, since he said 60%, 60% so of 8.9 is actually correct. So, and I say mathematically everything is correct. So, we don't need to worry from that question. So, mean that 60% of this will give me exactly what this is 5340. Cost? 5340, 1, 2, 3. From there, that's all we're probably going to get our. Taxable gain from because there's no there's not going to be uh, any indexation allowance because everything happened after 2021. So it's something you can write anyway. About two things that I've not written that you can write is the grouping charge. The grouping charge you just you can put a note. The grouping charge is always added to added to the sale proceed. Added to the sale proceed. Those proceed. That's the way you treat your grouping chart. Those three points are key. Uh, so here we can also mention after we've calculated our gain, taxable gain, I can say, okay, uh, no indexation allowance, you know, because you know the transaction happened after December 2027. No indexation allowance. Because transaction. Happens after what do you call that now? After 31st December 2017. <clears throat> 31st December 2017. What's the taxable gain? Five. Five million two hundred and fifty. Five two five four 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 zero. Five two five. Four 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 zero. Four 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 zero. Yes. Yeah, tax again. I think so. The 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 examiner will say something we should look at some tax savings, something if it's Sometimes. possible. Yeah. What do you think can be the tax saving thing that yeah. we're supposed to look at in that place now? Um, to delay the sales, so yeah, because the, the, the sales will be delayed for up to three months. Yes, if they delay the sale for three months, three months to October would that be what? October after October, right? October that'll be November, December, January. Yeah, and that would be more than 12 months. And if you delay for three months, which is more than 12 months, then the condition for the substantial shareholding will now be. available. So that means that they're not going to pay anything. Mm -hmm. See the tax, see the see the see the. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is not the tax, and this is a taxable gain. The tax they're going to pay on this will be 19% on 5 million. 19%. Because, because we want to collect the money in three months. What do you think I will do? Or that I will not say no. I will wait. <laughs> because the, the actual tax you're going to pay, that the implication of tax in that you know, question it means that they're going to pay 19% out of because corporation tax is 19%. That would be 19% of 5 million. That is that's a whole lot of money. If you don't know, I tell you for free, my brother. That's a whole lot of money. A whole lot of money. God knows. Okay, so we can note that. So let's see that this can be delayed. Where's that question again? Why was he asking us to do this thing? This includes any correct calculation we have done that on the set of the assumption that it occurs in this one. Any opportunity? Is it in this one that you say we should do stamp land duty or that second one? Where is stamp land? Okay, okay, no, let's let me take a look together one. with it. Tax savings. Other matter 
building star blood did you think? You see, do you does he want to kill us? Let us take it one by one, a small, small tax savings. <laughs> <laughs> so I can go to the tax savings now. Tax savings opportunity. Uh, what's the name of the company? Ham, Ham, Ham Tan. I already got it. What's the name of the company? I will tell him. I don't know where I'm saying Ham. I will tell him. Or do I need a hamburger? I will tell him. Limited. Show delay. Delay the sale. The sales. It's the sale of. Um, of. In saying Richard Sokocha, I don't even know whether it's Richard that is the is it Richard? What's the name of the company? Again? Richard Limited. Okay. Richard Limited. Richard. Richard, Richard I confess. See, <laughs> for for that three months. For that three months. For that to enjoy. To take. Advantage, take advantage of the substantial shareholding, right? Exception. I can say this this will save, save um, a return. Return limited with tax tax of uh, how much is the taxable gain we calculated? That'll be five two five four 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 zero times nineteen percent. How long? Can you give me that figure? You told me such, such nine nine eight. Take it four four. Nine nine eight. Three four four. How much did they marry my mother again? Please, can you multiply this one by eight hundred? Let's see, Coco. My laptop does not have pounds, you only have dollars because we're in the US. Well, we're in America. So if you don't see me put pounds, I don't want to put dollars because it doesn't make sense. Everything should be in pounds. Can you multiply that thing by eight hundred? That figure you are telling me now. Children of God, 998344. 998344. Multiply. How much is pounds now? People of God, how much is a pound? Maybe 600 or 700. How much is a dollar if I give you back hand from me? A dollar is even hit. Dollar has already hit 600. Yeah, 10 pounds is 600. I'm not talking about this. Okay. <laughs> oh, well. Uh, what? Almost 800 billion. Almost 800 billion naira. There is almost a million pounds. You know what the million pounds is? That's what they're going to save if they just delay for three months. In fact, they don't delay it, oh, beat the, the, the CEO. That's what it's going to save them. So we'll go to the lamp duty land tax. First, we need to mention that land duty land tax. If you are within a, uh, what do you call that, in 75% group, there is no lamp duty land tax. But you must keep those things that have been transferred to you for at least three years. If it's not up to three years, then you have to, we have to, you know, you then crop back, that's what I call it, you crop back the amount you didn't pay. So the amount you didn't pay in land tax, uh, with SDLT, the only thing in the SDLT, if you leave that group after collecting that particular asset in three years, you have to now pay your land duty land tax charge. It will not allow you to go scot free. It won't allow you to go scot free. Shout, bring our land duty land tax charge. Where are you going there now? Is that okay by everybody? Stamp duty. Duty. 
long term duty stlt stlt on transfer on transfer within within the 75 percent within group the first thing with the 75 percent steering group there is no stamp duty land tax charge that, that is straightforward uh, according to what we have But now that um, la, la, so land tax charge, there's no because so there won't be any SDLT between Secol and Rochas. Oh. No. SDLT between I think Secol Limited. Char Limited as far okay. yeah, there's another thing that need to, ought, we need to ought to know is that the SDLT is actually paid by the purchaser, not by the seller, not by the seller. Who is the purchaser in this in this stuff now? Rocha Limited. Rocha's Limited, yeah. The purchaser. The purchaser, which is Rocha's Limited. STLT or the use since Sorrow Child Limited. Hold building. And for at least for at least. Yes. As far. For living the group. For leaving the seventy five percent group, because immediately they sell sixty percent of it, it means that Ham will now have forty percent. So it's not going to be within the seventy five percent group again. For leaving the seventy five percent group, the SDLT will be chargeable. So in the in the stuff they always show us how to copy the STLT uh, in the what do you call that where they normally give us that uh, mm. that they read. So they have to calculate the STLT. Any amount that's less than one fifty is so at zero. You're not going to pay STLT. You need STLT start from one fifty to two fifty. Between one fifty to two fifty, you pay two percent. Anything above two fifty, you pay uh, what do you call that five percent. So here for say. The first 150 is at 0%. The total amount for this sale is actually 800,000. So the SDLT has some calculated toss. 800,000. The SDLT. The SDLT on the 800,000 pounds. Like I can't write pounds after you guys. Yeah. On the pounds is. The 
have the first one, 50,000. Zero percent. Then we have the next one be two fifty. Fifty. That'll be times two percent. So we are in two fifty band. The next last one will be eight hundred. That's five percent. <clears throat> this will give us zero. How much will this give us? Hundred times two percent. That's two thousand. Two thousand. Uh, about five percent. Five percent of um, uh, eight hundred minus two fifty. That's five hundred. Twenty-seven five hundred. Twenty-seven five hundred. We have everything together to give our total. Twenty nine five hundred. Okay. Twenty nine five hundred. Everything right. Twenty nine five hundred without using calculator. I think for the first part we've been able to answer all that. We've seen tax savings too. We've seen SDLT, and then we've seen the calculation. That's a book, and that's what the guy asked us to calculate there. Just one minute, let me get water from myself. My throat is just dry. No, 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 no. I've only spoken for 30 minutes. Okay, uh, this one is just a uh, warning. So, thank God we are done with number one. The second thing we need to go is to go to the group relief. Just a moment. Get one of myself and get back. Go to the second part. I'm not charging my laptop. Sorry. Come on. <clears throat> okay, the second one. Are you guys with me now? Hello, people. Hello, people of God. Yeah, very true. Oh, Wadi. Wadi, I'll call you back later. later. <laughs> Group relief, uh, say so year ending 31st, da 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 da. Say so by reference to the information in part B of Korea schedule, the maximum amount of sickle limited trading loss, which can be surrendered to each of the other company in the Haro Limited Group. Okay, Haro Limited Group, all of them. Can we can we surrender all the all the losses in that group to anyone? 
Because all of them are in 25% group, except Russia that is living, isn't it? Is that okay? Yeah. We are looking for who made the loss now. Sequel is the one that made the loss here. And we want to see oh, how can he uh, how can he surrender? Say what's the maximum amount that he can surrender to uh, his trading loss to all those members? What makes this question very easy is because all of them have the same year end. Do you know you, you have to submit within the same corresponding accounting period? Do you guys remember that? If they do not have the same accounting year end, then you have to be doing some kind of operation to be sure that you have a corresponding accounting year to transfer the losses. But for this, it makes sense because all the five of them have accounting year ahead of what thirty first December, uh, you know, each year. So it means that okay, I might not be able to worry about that because all of them have the same accounting year. So it's easier to just okay transfer this, transfer that as if you are playing ping pong. So let's say how much loss does Sequel have? Sequel have just eight hundred no one hundred eighty thousand loss, and you want to go and pay a tax of almost a million. Are you people? Are you are you normal? Are you people normal? <laughs> then Arrow has a gain of forty. Rochester has a gain of sixty. Um, uh, Tosca has a gain of seventy. Then Uta has a gain of as Uta Fad has a gain of six hundred thousand. So the question is: uh, How 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 much can it send to Arrow Limited? Is that not just forty? Yeah, it's not just for sale. But you know, they, they said arrow, arrow could have a chargeable gain. Chargeable right? gains, yeah. Chargeable gains can have a, an, a chargeable gain on disposal of shares in Rochas Limited. That means if they don't delete that stuff, I guess you have a chargeable gain, isn't it? <clears throat> but if they delete, there won't be any chargeable gain, would it? Yeah. Boston, be bad. So what's that about? Total amount of loss, total amount of loss that can be transferred. Oh man, this on the five percent trading group. Trading group. Is the taxable, taxable, or claiming, claiming group member, but within this. Responding accounting period. So luckily, luckily, all the members actually have uh, what you call it, the same accounting period. So that's not a big deal for us. That's not a problem. That's not a problem. So we we'll say, okay, uh, for Hams Limited, you can transfer how much now? For how I keep saying Hams. For our time. Sequel limited. Sequel. 
40,000 pounds. Plus. Amount of the chargeable gain. If you see. E. The fly. That's the other return. Can you transfer any amount to Richard? Yes, but it should be limited to the period, corresponding accounting period. Okay, yeah, what would be the corresponding accounting period for the Richard now? So the date an agreement is made, that will be from 1st January to 31st July. Yeah, yeah, we always mention, okay, you cannot transfer to anyone. You can only transfer to Rochas until that agreement to sell his shares. But by the time they made an agreement, we assume that it's no longer within the group. So it must be within the group. That's why I first have to explain who you can transfer to. The person must be a member of the group. So we said when agreement is made, it means that Rochas cannot be a member of the group again, of some type of same group again. So you can only transfer for that corresponding time that Rochas was actually within the group and Rochas was within the group from what time when is when was the agreement made oh sign agreement 31st July can you see originally budgeted and an agreement was signed 31st July for how limited to say 60 percent of shares so when that agreement so many can only transfer from since their year, year end is December it means that their year starts in January so January to uh July is 31st of July it will be seven months is that correct Would that be seven months? Yeah. Yeah. Good. So that's so a, yeah, Rocha Limited. Sell in 60%. on 31st July 2022 from my own from my own 2022 is it that people don't have this um uh, what do you call it you don't have this um uh, new kit yeah I don't have you don't have it. Okay. Yeah. are you in the WhatsApp group <laughs> Yeah, I'm in the WhatsApp group. Maybe I will drop my own in the WhatsApp group, so I can just drop it. Thank you. Just remind me when I'm was when when I'm about to finish the lecture to drop it. I will drop it or any time. Yeah, I, I should I should try to drop it after the lecture. So I can drop it after the lecture, so you can just work with it because there's some few different things, so you don't go and get used to you know reading the old one. Mr. Lee on the fat side, so. It's, it's better it gets used to reading the new one. It's not it. An agreement to sell 60% of the Rochester Limited was made on the uh, 1st July 2022. And this means that the sequel form during the corresponding period. Transfer. It to this state. So, how much can it transfer? Total loss we have in that um, total profit to reach us as in that schedule was actually sixty thousand, I think. So we have to look for seven over twelve thousand. That's what we're going to do. So maximum we can surrender to that guy. Yeah, I say, dear for dear, my dear, we don't imagine. Maximum seven over twelve thousand. Maximum seven over twelve thousand. 
surrender. Be sixty thousand. Times uh, seven or two. So is it today they are paying Champions League final? Because I've been seeing a lot of adverts. Look as if I'm losing touch with soccer these days. Yeah, the answer is for five thousand. Today is Champions League final. Are you serious? Yes. I can't believe it, and I don't know. Just like, how come Dazan is advertising Champions League final like this? This piece now, basketball, I did watch every day, study basketball, basketball, basketball. One, ah, she moved over, I didn't want to show. I will take him by my party, you can go. Oh, I just walk, 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 walk. Are we going to carry the walk to heaven? Like I always say, they will say save, 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 save. After saving, what is next? Are we taking savings to have save, invest, save, invest? You now become seventy year old man. You can't finish a whole chicken again. So what is the saving for, brother Sheriff? You have saved, save, 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 save. Okay, you have <laughs> saved and invested. Okay, I agree. When are you supposed to enjoy your body? Say save for the future. Save for the future. By the time you are 60, you don't even have appetite to eat food again. What will you be doing with the body? You don't have energy to travel up and down. What, how do you enjoy this body? I say small, enjoy plenty. Don't listen to those people. I don't know. We, motivational is some. Motivational speaker is some. You know. Tosca. How much can we transfer to Tosca? I think that one's straightforward. Really? You can transfer the whole of 70,000. Yeah, that's yeah. quite straightforward. Tosca, Tosca Limited. I like the name of that country, company, Tosca. Seco <laughs> Limited. Trying to keep asking myself every day. Are you saying I should invest for the next of king to enjoy? I mean, that is doing the work, should not enjoy the money. No, 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 that's no, it's not like that. Don't be like that, they do have security cards for a maximum, maximum of uh, 70,000 pounds. Tosca. I don't really include so many one. Tosca. Say, leave it for your children. They will do their own work and make their own money. Just give small for them. That is good for the children. Children, we, I don't, I don't, they don't go school, we are no go. They will be go school for abroad. Me, I, I, I go school for local champion. I should give should my school day. But I'll be, be working for people that their school is in abroad. Does that even make sense? Somebody should make that thing make sense to me now. Can we transfer anything to Utafa Limited? No, hold on, Utafa. That's the trading profit of 20,000, isn't it? And it has um, so the building using this business 1.8 million. This is already a chargeable gain of 85,000 pounds. Here's one thing is Uta a 75% group. People are good. Hello, Utafa. Is he a seventy-five? Is he a member of seventy-five percent group? No, his indirect interest is seventy-two percent. Seventy-two percent. Because we multiply, we have to multiply eighty by ninety, and that should give us seventy-two. So. Yeah. That means we cannot transfer any losses to that guy. Yeah. 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 I can always say indirect or effective. Talk. 
จากไฟล์ที่เป็นแค่ Is it seventy-two? That would be eighty times ninety. That eighty times ninety percent. No, that's not what I'm looking for. So eighty times ninety percent. That's what we're looking for. The diagram is eighty and ninety seventy-two. It times nine. In any of its. Broad value relief in part C. That's the next one we're looking for now. Rule of relief in part C. So rule of relief in part C. How does rule of relief for a group of company works? Number one, before you discuss rule of relief for a group of company, you have to go and check their capital gain group. So you have to first explain capital gain group. If they're in a capital gain group, then the rule of relief can work. So I, I, I'm going to first explain the capital gain group. When we're done with that, then we can now talk about the rule of relief group. Uh, can somebody tell us what? How do we? How do we come up with the capital gain group uh, before we go to the rule of relief? What are the conditions for the company to be in the capital gain group? Let the other guy say something. Please. He has been. Oh, where is even Rita too? She Rita is just driving. You cannot. You cannot write. We understand, but you can talk now. Rita, I never hear your voice. What is the condition for a capital gain group? Only Sherry has been speaking. Hello? Mm -hmm. Rita cannot hear. So let's go. Mm -hmm. Next guy. <laughs> Hello, Rita, go ahead. Yeah, I can hear you now. Okay, my net is like my network is not um, stable. Uh, I've been off and on, but okay, for uh, a company. This is for me too. Same thing here. Go ahead, for one. Okay, for a company to qualify as a capital gains group, right? The, um, the company should have at least, um, I don't want to mix it. <laughs> I think um, 51%. Don't say don't worry. Okay, let me think about it. I think 51%. Um, okay, let Ibrahim go. Think about it. Ibrahim, go mm -hmm. ahead. Capital gain group. Just say whatever you understand, whatever is in your mind. And Ibrahim, hear me? Hello? Hello? There's another guy that just joined us. Johnson. Johnson, can you hear me? Hello, Johnson. Hello, Ibrahim. Hello, Johnson. Yes, I can hear you. Okay. The company okay. shares Johnson. should be. Happy. Hold on. Let's let Johnson go. Let Johnson go. Well, I'm giving you time to rest. We'll call you again. Johnson, can you please go explain to us what do you understand? You you know your understanding of capital gain group. Okay. Okay, what, what I know about capital gain group is that um, for a company to be a part of um, a capital gain group, then yeah. um, you know there, are, there has to be a principal company like, like the holding company and then subsidiary. So yes, it, the subsidiary has to be some um, the principal company has to own like um, seventy five percent. Yeah, and then. Um, 
effective with one percent um yeah economic so yeah that's that that's right that's, that's right that's so that's what i'm problem. saying yeah just like just like i'm saying johnson if you're in the exam and this is the way you remember it please write it down like that you understand don't don't look for any textbook answer within the exam because that might take a whole lot of time the way you understand it, you can write it in points just write it down that way and we'll get it and that is that is right anyway. It might not be written like that in the in the textbook, but that is very right. Uh, when you're in a group, the holding company must have at least seventy five percent direct ownership, and you know indirect or effective ownership must be at least fifty percent. The only condition you need to realize is that before we look at the fifty percent, the guy must actually have at least seventy five percent of direct relationship with whatever he had. So now I'm going to show you that one. Look at the look at the group. Look at the group. You can see the group here is 100%, 80%, 80%. This guy have 90%. Toscana has 90%, but the effective rate is actually 72. That means all of them can be in the capital gain group. Is that correct? Yes. Yeah, so that's the first thing we're going to explain before we now go and talk about all by role over relief. So I'm going to talk about rollover relief in an individual company. Then I'll talk about rollover relief in a group of companies so that we understand how to, you know, bring the individual rollover relief into the group rollover relief. And then that was how we're going to end it uh, for the rollover relief. Let me quickly just mention um, rollover relief. Rollover relief. So first I'm going to talk about uh, this is uh, for. I beg, what is the time in the morning that I will not be feeling hungry? A whole, a whole me, as a whole warrior like me, feeling hungry at eight forty. A whole warrior, <laughs> a whole warrior of Abiyakuta land. That's that's not possible. Hunger, will you leave me before I slap you? <laughs> Rubbish. Again, good. when the holding company like whatever I'm writing is from my head it's not that I'm trying to remember the way it is written in the textbook the way I have it in my head I just put it down understand the principle put it down the way you understand the principle and that is very key it saves you time and it gives you all the marks you want all right sometimes you even can even put your bullet point so that you can see it easily and check out your mark we are not marking the English and we don't expect you to cram whatever is in the textbook. We expect you to understand, learn, and know. And that is the key thing in the exams. Many open company has at least 5%, right? Percent ownership, direct. And an effective, an effective slash indirect, <laughs> indirect interest. Fifty percent. More than fifty percent, so that you say fifty-one percent, at least fifty-one percent. So fifty-one percent is uh, okay. You know, fifty-one percent is it at least fifty-one percent? So, can anybody remember how the rollover relief work for individual rollover relief? Rollover. The replacement, the replacement of business asset, of business asset. I'll explain. It means that if there is a company that sold an asset, business asset, the business asset within within a qualifying time period, within a qualifying time period before I go 
they call it fine time period. Then I'll explain what I mean by business asset I call it fine time period, and then I'll explain again. Say so, rollover relief is applicable when you sell a business asset. You're going to talk about the business asset. When you sell a business asset, you make a gain. You are supposed to pay tax on that gain. But if you sell that asset, instead of spending the gain, you use the money, the proceed to buy another business asset. It means that you are improving your business. We will tell you to delay the payment of the tax. So you are not going to pay, not that you will not pay the tax at all. You will not pay the tax until you have sold the new asset that you have purchased. So the gain is rollover. It means that the gain that is supposed to be tax on is move to the new asset that you have purchased so that when you now sell that new asset anytime then you will pay the tax that you didn't pay in this one why didn't you pay the tax in this one is because you have used the money to purchase another asset for the business first thing you need to know what are the business assets second thing what is what do we mean by the qualifying um, Qualifying, what they call qualifying time period. Within which time do you have to buy this asset? What are the assets that qualify for rollover relief? Qualifying assets. And assets are what? Anybody remember? Facet for rollover. Thank you. For rollover relief. Uh, one. Fixed plant or machinery, right? And yeah, yeah plant, plant or machinery. But here we need to stress that uh, what do you call it? Shares do not qualify for room value. The examiner always wants to do that. And then we have freehold. Freehold. This hold. Land and building. Land and building. So, say freehold and leasehold. Leasehold means that freehold means that you will only freehold. Leasehold means that it's on lease, but you know, after you finish paying the lease, it become your own. <laughs> fixed. Then the plant and machinery must be fixed one. Fixed means that it's not easily movable. It's not those big machine that you can't just easily move. You have to go and get crane to move them. That a fixed plant or machine, not like spanner or what do you call it? Uh, what do you call the screw? Those ones are movable, movable invention for machinery. So fixed plant or machine are the ones that we have in here. What's qualifying time period? Qualifying, qualifying time period. The time period is always that when the, the business asset you want to purchase, you can purchase it one year before you dispose the old asset, or you can purchase it three years after you have disposed the uh the what do you call it? the 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 old asset. So the qualifying time period is always one year, a year before the disposal. Before the one year, race so within, within one year before the disposal for three years after one year before the disposal or three years after the disposal. That is when you are allowed to, you know, to purchase those assets. So if you purchase those assets outside this one year before and three years before, you will not enjoy the rollover relief. So note, shares not qualified. of shares shares do not qualify for rule of leave
به نکل فرفر رو بارید با سب شیر سب نکل فرفر رو بارید So for group of company, can anybody now explain how the rollover work for group of company? Oh God. All the companies in a chargeable game, in a capital gains group are treated as one such that whereby any company disposes the a qualifying assets, another if another company purchases Another qualifying business assets within the qualifying yeah. time period will never be available. Okay, Sim simple. That is what we mean. So, because now, because they are in a capital gain group, it means that we are going to see them as one company. So, it means that if, if Toscana, for example, dispose a business asset and Arotan purchase a business asset, we'll see them as one, that oh, it's one person that actually disposed and replaced. So they will enjoy that particular rule of relief. And the condition must be must be met, means that the asset must be a qualifying asset, and then the time period must be within you know specified one in the rule. So let's look at what asset they are talking about here. For a group of company, uh, this means that any of any of the capital in group member in group member can purchase is what are you writing now? <laughs> can purchase Define the fine business asset. Why another member you no know, can dispose self purchase can purchase a confined business asset while another member you can say disposed of a dispose of a qualifying. So now let's let's bring it down to the question. We've done all the explanation, but and now we've been able to break it down uh, to what we feel like uh, is right here. But the question is wanting us to do what? Rule over relief. Rule over relief max is twenty seven max. At least we could only get like seven more than seven point for DSF. What is that part that um, rule over relief potentially available to the group? Uh, and the accuracy of part C of Corella schedule. Let's look at the part C now. This we're looking at for. Total qualifying additional assets. What is the accuracy of this one? Um, total, total, total. I'll define for all value. Now that I'm building 480. Cost mm, recovery, machinery. Let's go. Patent and trademark. Does patent and trademark qualify for? Qualify for rule of relief? No. No. That's good. Really. That shouldn't qualify. That shouldn't qualify. Machinery, this machinery doesn't qualify. This is not fixed. Uh, we sure it's not fixed. Can we assume? 
We can add them. So what we probably going to say is that you know we have to verify to be sure that the machinery is fixed before it qualifies. Even if you assume that it's not qualified, we'll say, okay, since we are not sure that this machine is qualified, it's not, it's not fixed, then it's not going to be qualified. Like, we only fix the machine. But you must make mention the reason why we are qualifying or the reason why we are assuming that it should qualify. Okay, those are the acquisition. Does he have, do we have any disposal of assets? Yeah, check. B not two. B not two. Yeah, in this place. Okay, okay, okay. Uta Far Limited sold a building. Okay, used in the business of this one for one point eight and has a charge of eighty five. So what we're trying to say is that, okay, he sold this one. So me that the qualifying asset definitely must be. Must be what you call it. We want to look at the qualifying, uh, uh, the disposal, disposal, the disposal of one point eight that, and it has a gain of uh, eighty five. So if he was, able, if he's able to to buy, if he's able to buy what you call it, another asset that's worth one point eight. So the whole chargeable gain of eighty five will be zero. But if it's not one point eight, then. Uh, not all we'll see whether there's going to be a gain that is significantly chargeable or not significantly chargeable. So let's look at that. So, first thing we have uh, that uh, Utafa has sold. What kind of asset to let's look at it? It's a building. Building is a qualifying business asset, right? So, the building. Yeah. It's a qualifying business asset. With a gain of how much? A gain. Eighty-five thousand. Yeah. Ten pounds. If if there is an acquisition. Can. Frame assets. Asset within the group. That is up to to what do you call that? Thing? That is up to that is up to one point eight million, right? Again, the total chargeable gain rolled over. Rolled over. That's what we're looking for. So we know 1.8. We just want to see whether the total gain will be rolled over or not. So let's go and see the qualifying asset from Schedule C. Is it Schedule C or Part C? Qualifying. Define what they call it in the game. C, C is what we're looking for. Qualifying business asset, right? Qualifying business asset. Asset from Schedule C. Is. So we say it's going to be, you're saying it's going to be 780 now, right? Because yes, we know so that pretend and trade pretend mark is not the fancy market. Machinery too must also be fixed machinery. I agree with you, it has to be fixed machinery. Although I don't know which machinery will be 430,000 that is not going to be fixed. Can you just try and imagine first? I don't know. Because of the money, you know, that's why maybe that's yeah. why I'm thinking like 
this might be a fixed asset. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? Yeah, we can put a disclaimer there. We can put a disclaimer there, but it's fixed. It's fixed, yeah. Because that amount, I don't know, it's, it doesn't look like a small, small machinery. You know, for any machinery yeah. before, it almost has a million. Ababa, that machinery will be fixed. If it's not fixed, if you cannot buy spanner for <laughs> <laughs> it must be an industrial machine or something to be purchased, right? So that's yeah. why I'm thinking like I would rather go towards like it's fixed, but you know, we need to be clear on that it's fixed. Otherwise, Mr. Baba. So let's say uh, I'll first make it the one that they were very sure of is the patent and trademark. It's not the business, it's not the qualifying business. I said, How much would it be if you only remove the if you only remove the 140? How much would that be? 1350 minus 140. I have a calculator now. One, two, one, zero. Yeah, 12, 10. That's what I want to go with. I just put a disclaimer, right? 10, 12, right? 10, 12. Trademark and what? The trademark. The trade uh, patents and trademarks. Patents. The patents and trademark. What's that? Patent and trademarks, right? Trade. Marks. No, just not qualified. Thing does not only it's not it's not fine. The machinery. The fixed machinery. Or it be it be a qualifying is is not stated is schedule. And by zooming next cost of the huge, huge. I'm expecting something huge <laughs> because of the huge cost outlay. That you would not you don't listen to Mr. Sabinus. I was saying something huge. You don't know what I was saying. <laughs> this week I was saying something huge. Something huge in money or in good, not something that would have a surprise with anything. They say, yeah, that. So, huge cost outlay, which is like 430. So, like I said, I don't believe that a 430,000 pounds, not even naira, you know, 1,000 pounds is not a fixed asset. Right. Well, that's for 430,000. Of money. If this is the case, if our assumption is what we're going by, would there be any rollover gain? So, see, the guy has sold, the, the group has sold 1.8, but qualifying asset is uh, what do you call that? 
1.1012. So we have gain immediately chargeable. Because they do not invest up to 1.8, there will not be any rollover gain. You can say gain immediately chargeable will not be equal to this, no rollover gain. Uh, what we're going to be is going to be like no rollover gain. And then look at see what we're going to do is going to be uh, purchase assets gain, taxable gain. Not how you people used to do your own. Well, I didn't teach. I've not taught chargeable gain in a long time. I don't know why. I don't even have time for teaching like that again. Then I have gain immediately chargeable. Gain immediately chargeable. Rated as toss. That's the amount that you are you didn't reinvest is the gain that will be immediately chargeable. That's one point eight. How much is the qualifying other qualifying assets we have? <clears throat> Just uh, we are zooming 12. How much would that give us? People of God, how much would that give us? Seven eight eight thousand. You say what? Seven eight eight thousand. Seven eight eight thousand. Maybe. Seven. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I just put it here. I just say uh, instead of writing it, I just eight eight thousand. Is that will not be gained? Roll over again. Again, would be cost of zero. You will limit it anyway because it's 78,000. I think what I've done initially is actually right. So I'll just take this away. One, I move this one to 85,000. Limited to. Because we don't, we can't create a negative in that one, so it limits it to five thousand, so there won't be any rollover again. This rollover. Assuming, let me let me make this easy. Assuming what we have as a qualifying asset is one seven fifty. People of God, assuming it's one seven fifty. We'll come back to this one seven fifty. How much will be gain, gain immediately chargeable? That be fifty thousand, right? Hello. As only the yeah, fifty. That be fifty thousand. So means that I will have said that what we'll take out here is going to be fifty thousand. All right. And the gain that you now roll over will be cost to what thirty five thousand. Does that make sense? Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah, that's that's what we do the rollover. It means that okay, uh, since you didn't invest everything, that is fifty thousand. So we'll charge you immediately now for fifty thousand. So the remaining one we roll it over. That's how you do that one. But for this particular question, there won't be any rollover on it. Uh, zero one two. There won't be any rollover on it. This one is going to be limited to eighty five thousand. And that'll be zero for rollover. Zero for rollover. <laughs> Okay, we only have Tosca, Tosca limited promotion of new products. So what we're going to do is we'll go on 15 minute break, it's past nine. And when we come back, we'll finish that one and go to the next one. Next one too is gonna to be a very, you know, not very long, iron limited. But it's not a bad question. It's 25, it's from 35. It took us some time. So this is 35, that's why. So this one is 25, the other one is 25. 